Norway, a nation shaped by its rich history and breathtaking landscape, stands out globally for its unique economic and social structure. With roots stretching back to the Viking Age, Norway has evolved into a modern, prosperous country fueled largely by its significant oil reserves discovered in the late 20th century. This wealth, managed through a sovereign wealth fund, the largest in the world, underpins the nation's robust economy. Coupled with a strong commitment to social welfare, egalitarian principles, Norway's economic success has fostered a distinctive work culture characterized by a well-balanced professional and personal life approach. Let's look into the reality of Norway's work environment, trying to understand how its historical background and economic stability have created a unique workplace ethos distinct in its approach and values. Norway's economic landscape, bolstered by its substantial oil wealth, has significantly shaped its work culture, distinguishing it globally. The nation's carefully managed prosperity ensures a high standard of living and a strong focus on work-life balance. This balance is not merely a concept but a tangible reality in Norway where work efficiency is paramount, enabling a fulfilling life beyond the office. In Norway, there is a saying, with freedom comes responsibility. This principle underscores the highly independent nature of Norwegians in the workplace. Professionals in Norway are expected to manage their tasks with a high degree of autonomy, a shift from environments where constant oversight and direction are the norm. This independence in the professional sphere mirrors the personal, where individuals are trusted to effectively balance their work commitments with their well-being. This blend of freedom and responsibility defines Norway's unique approach to harmonizing professional duties with personal life. I recently had the privilege to speak to one of Norway's foremost experts on working in Norway, Karen Ellis, on my podcast Working With Us. Here she is speaking about with freedom comes responsibility. I think that's the most important unwritten rule of how everything works in Norway. According to the World Value Survey, Norwegians are the most trusting people in the world. In the workplace and everywhere, in schools, universities and so on, we trust people, so we give a lot of freedom. But for foreigners who come to Norway, they see the freedom. The freedom is easy to, to see and understand, but it comes with a responsibility. With freedom comes responsibility. Egalitarianism is more than a concept in Norwegian workplaces. It's a foundational principle that profoundly influences every aspect of work dynamics. This approach fosters an environment where collaborative decision-making and teamwork are encouraged and deeply ingrained in the organizational fabric. In Norway, the hierarchical gap is deliberately minimized, enabling a flow of ideas and input across all levels. This flattening of traditional structures allows for a workplace democratization where every voice is heard and valued. In practice, this means that in a typical Norwegian company, brainstorming sessions might include employees from various departments and levels, from interns to senior management, all contributing equally. Managers are seen more as facilitators than authoritarian figures guiding discussions and being open to their team's feedback and suggestions. This inclusive approach extends beyond the meeting room, evident in many leaders' day-to-day -day interactions and open-door policies. Such a culture not only heightens employee satisfaction, but also fosters a deep sense of ownership and loyalty among the workforce. Norway's commitment to gender equality is prominently reflected in its workforce. This egalitarian approach has led to significant female participation in professional settings contributing to a diverse and dynamic work culture. Women in Norway are active participants in the workforce and hold influential positions across various sectors. This gender balance representation fosters a workplace culture that values diverse perspectives and equitable opportunities, leading to more inclusive and innovative decision-making processes. The impact of this gender equality extends beyond the workplace, influencing societal norms and contributing to Norway's progressive and inclusive reputation globally. Foreigners in Norway often encounter distinctive challenges as they adapt to a work culture that highly values independence and initiative. This expectation can be particularly daunting for those used to more directive structured work environments. 
Karen Ellis highlighted this cultural gap by observing foreign professionals who initially found it challenging to advance in their careers. After spending some years in Norway, their careers came to a halt. Similar kind of talents in the US really excelled. But in Norway, they did not. They stagnated. And they all told the same story. When we came to Norway, we had every opportunity, but nobody told us. Where we came from, if we had done something that the boss had not asked us to do, we would have lost a job because they had not understood that in Norway, you have every opportunity. The journey of adapting to the Norwegian work culture thus becomes a transformative experience for many foreigners, reshaping their professional identities and work ethics. The Norwegian social fabric. The community-oriented nature of Norwegian society profoundly influences its work environments with dugnad embodying this spirit. This traditional practice of volunteering for communal causes fosters collaboration and mutual support extending into the workplace and enhancing personal and professional lives. A notable aspect of Norwegian office culture is its deep-seated coffee tradition. With over 80% of Norwegians drinking coffee daily and an average of over 4 cups a day, coffee breaks are more than just a caffeine fix. They are integral social rituals that strengthen workplace bonds and provide informal settings for discussions and collaboration. This love for the coffee, deeply ingrained in the Norwegian lifestyle, highlights the importance of social interactions in shaping its country's work culture. Here's Karen Ellis again. We absolutely love coffee. But in an office environment, um, Norwegians are not very good at small talking, really. We don't small talk much. But then we do drink a lot of coffee. And coffee is almost like a social lubricant. So a lot of problems are solved by the coffee machine. So yeah. if you're going to work in Norway, it's very important to take part in the coffee talk and not just sit and work, uh, work all the time. Because by the coffee machine, you can talk about anything. In addition to coffee breaks, Norwegians use their time off work well. And what they do plays a significant role in their social fabric. The Norwegian landscape, with its vast forests, fjords and mountains, encourages outdoor activities. Hiking, skiing and fishing are hobbies and ways of life, reflecting Norwegians' deep connection with nature. This affinity for the outdoors is mirrored in their approach to work, where maintaining a balance between professional duties and personal well-being is paramount. Norway's dedication to environmental sustainability and social responsibility is a defining feature of its corporate culture. This commitment goes beyond adhering to regulation. It reflects a deeply held societal value to respect and preserve the natural environment. Norwegian companies are leaders in integrating sustainable practices into their business models, underscoring the nation's prioritization of environmental stewardship. For example, many Norwegian businesses actively pursue energy efficiency and reduce carbon footprints in their operations. They often engage in initiatives like investing in renewable energy sources or adopting green technologies, setting benchmarks in sustainability efforts. Norway's corporate social responsibility, CSR, also frequently involves community-focused projects. Companies might support local environmental programs, participate in reforestation efforts, or contribute to educational campaigns about sustainability. These actions are not just corporate policies, but are woven into the fabric of Norwegian work life, mirroring the society's profound connection with its stunning natural landscapes. This is just a short introduction to Norway's work culture. However, it has become evident that this nation offers a unique blend of professional efficiency, social equality and environmental consciousness. The Norwegian workplace reflects broader societal values, a deep commitment to egalitarian principles and a harmonious balance between work and personal life and a profound respect for the natural environment. This culture, shaped by its historical influences and economic prosperity, stands as a testament to Norway's ability to foster a work environment that is both productive and personally fulfilling. From the tradition of a dugnad to the daily coffee breaks that bond colleagues, Norway's work culture is as much about building relationships as it is about building careers. Norway's approach raises compelling questions about how we view work and life balance, social responsibility and the role of the individual within the workplace. It challenges us to consider how different cultures 
influence our work ethics and professional expectations. With that in mind, how does your experience or perception of work culture compare to what has been described in Norway? Could you see yourself thriving in an environment that values independence, work-life balance and social responsibility as highly as Norway? Share your thoughts and experience in the comments. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos about work, culture and global HR. If you want to see the rest of the interview I did with Karen Ellis, you will find the link in the description. Thank you very much for your support. Have a great day.